So today I'm going to show you why the Unify network is the backbone of my smart home from connecting all of my smart devices with fast and secured Wi-Fi to giving me the peace of mind with pro level security features as well as no more network slowdowns. Basically, Unify has got me covered and it just works. And let me show you why it's worth it. Hello and welcome to my channel and as part of my smart home journey in today's video, I'm giving you an inside look at how I've set up my home's computer network using the Unify system. I'll share how much I've spent on this setup and show you how it connects with everything from my entertainment system to my work from home setup while keeping all of my smart home devices safe and secure. Now, before I dive into the details of my home computer network, let's take a step back and see how much our homes have changed over the years. Now, the thing is, homes today aren't just homes anymore. They're smart, they're connected, and they've become work from home spaces and even business centers. With all this connectivity and the speed at which data flows in our homes, having a secured and uninterrupted network is crucial. And with that in mind, when it came to designing our home's computer network, I first needed to address my four needs. Network coverage. Many homeowners deal with dead zones, poor data throughput, or spotty Wi-Fi coverage. And to fix this, I knew I had to install access points on every floor for seamless Wi-Fi coverage, eliminating weak signals in those hard to reach spots. For devices that needed constant uninterrupted data, like our Apple TVs for streaming, I used Ethernet cables to hardwire them directly into the network, ensuring reliable high-speed connections where it mattered the most. Two, security. Standard home networks often lack proper security, leaving smart home devices vulnerable to attacks. So for my smart home, I knew from get-go I had to group and link devices to specific networks as well as implement robust network rules to separate IoT devices from the main network, protecting sensitive data and preventing unauthorized access. Three, device management. Managing multiple devices from smart homes, smart home gadgets, and guest connections can overwhelm traditional routers. So I needed a simplified way together with an intuitive interface to make it easy to control and monitor all of the devices, plus creating separate guest networks without compromising security. Lastly, reliability and scalability. Most consumer grade home routers aren't reliable, aren't scalable, and often need to be replaced every couple of years just to keep in touch with the latest Wi-Fi standards. They also have limited network ports. So I wanted a network that could grow with my needs, control costs, and power devices like cameras. It also needed to be easy to use, offering the perfect balance between reliability, flexibility, and scalability. And to solve those needs, there were two brands out there in the market. There was the TP-Link Omada or the Ubiquiti Unify. Now, without a doubt, I chose the Unify network because it follows Apple's philosophy of seamless integration between hardware and software, which was a clear winner. Plus, it integrated quite well with Home Assistant and HomeBridge. It also doubles down as a security system with no subscriptions, full local control, and access to all of the camera footage, which was a top priority for me as I've already made a video on my Unify Protect setup for security. So let's deep dive into my home network setup and it all starts with a modem. Now to connect your home to the internet, you need a modem. Think of it as a magic box that helps your house to talk to the internet. Most service providers give you a box that works as both as a modem as well as a router. In my case, the connection to my house is a fiber line with a speed of 600 down and 300 up, which for now is quite sufficient for our family needs. I also ordered from the provider to configure this box as a modem only and to give me a dedicated IP address. Now, a dedicated IP address lets me connect to my home remotely, makes it more secure and reduces connection issues to the wider network around my house. Next up is the router which is the brain and the heart of the network, the Unified Dream Machine Pro. Now this unit is connected to the modem. Think of a router like a traffic officer for the internet in your house. It directs all of the data, just like your cars, to the right places like your tablet, your phone or computer. So everything runs smoothly when you're watching videos, 
playing games or working online. But it's just not a router. It also acts as a security system together with a network video recorder called Unify Protect. Now the NVR connects directly to the cameras and stores the video feed locally. It is also responsible for displaying the live camera feeds and for playing back recordings via your computer and mobile devices. Now the Unify Dream Machine Pro replaces the traditional routers provided by your ISP. Additionally, this comes with a combo of services that truly makes the product stand out from the traditional systems. Access points. To make sure Wi-Fi is strong everywhere in my home, I've set up using four units of U6 Plus and a U6 in wall located in the office, delivering Wi-Fi 6 across the home. That means super fast speeds. No matter where you are in the house, you're always connected to the nearest access point. Now think of an access point like a big Wi-Fi speaker. It's like having a speaker that plays music all around your house. If the sound doesn't reach far enough, you add another speaker to keep it clear and strong in every room. That's exactly what access points do. They help the Wi-Fi reach to every corner. Plus with these access points, I can adjust the power to fine tune both the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands and tweak the network channels to avoid interference from my neighbor's Wi-Fi or even my own Zigbee network. And when technology advances, I can simply and easily upgrade them. Now let's talk about the network switch. My cameras and access points are connected and powered using Ethernet cables, specifically called CAT6E, so there's no need for extra power adapters. Now this is possible because of a feature called PoE or Power Over Ethernet, which is my 16 port PoE managed switch. Now this unit is connected to the router using a 10 gig direct attached cable for high speed data transfer and high performance network connectivity. Now think of a network switch like a super helpful power strip, but instead of giving electricity, it provides network connectivity to different devices in your house. Now, since my home is a new build, I ran network cables to key locations like the office where the servers are and the media center, which connects the Apple TV, the LG TV, the Bose soundbar, as well as the Philips Hue hub. Now, the main benefit of using a wired connection is speed and reliability. It's faster and definitely stable than Wi-Fi. Additionally, we decided not to run cables to the bedrooms because as a family, we wanted them to be a distraction free space for rest. Our focus was the living room as our main gathering spot. Now, the great thing about investing in the Unify system is that you don't have to worry about finding the perfect spot for your router to get the best Wi-Fi coverage. Since it's a wired solution with wireless access points connected to it, I installed everything neatly under the staircase. So once I connected the internet to the Dream Machine Pro, I linked it to the switch, the access points, and the cameras. Now the setup was easy using the clean web interface. However, for the initial setup, I still prefer using the web UI over the app. But for the real power with Unify, isn't just the setup and flashy display panels. It's how you can create separate networks, control device communication, and also apply security settings to keep your network secure from internal and external access. Now, let me explain how I keep everything secure in our home. I first set up VLANs, one for my core network, which consists of my Apple devices, computers, phones, and the Synology NAS. Second one for IoT, which consists my smart home services, smart devices like the Tuya lights, the robot vacuums, the air conditioners, the Xiaomi Yi Light devices, and everything that's IoT like the water flow sensor as well. Lastly, a third separate one for guests, as the name suggests for those who visit our home and need temporary limited internet connection. Now think of VLANs or virtual local area network as a house who is having different parties in different rooms, one for your family, one for your friends, and one for your guests. Each group stays in their room and doesn't mix with the others. Now a VLAN is like having those separate rooms for different devices on your network. It makes sure they stay in their own space so they don't get in the way of each other even though they're all in the same house. Now this separation ensures security 
and reliability across the board. Now, once I set up the VLANs, the next was I created three separate Wi-Fi networks, each linked to its own VLAN. Additionally, each Wi-Fi network has its own unique password for added security. Once the VLANs were set up and connected to its Wi-Fi network, the next layer was to create network rules. Now, with the unified network system, I can create infinite network rules that ensure no one can access parts of the network that they shouldn't, thus allowing me to keep the network secure again from both internal and external access. So right now, I've set up five main network rules. One, only registered devices can connect, ensuring only established connections are allowed. Two, devices on the main network can access the other networks. Three, IoT devices are blocked from accessing the main network. Four, guest devices are also blocked from accessing the main network. Five, both IoT and guest devices are blocked from accessing the router's IP address. In addition to these rules, I've also set up parenting controls to limit screen time for kids on specific days and time. You can also block certain web pages and apps, giving you easy to use tools for managing your network. Additionally, I watched a lot of YouTube videos to complete this setup. And feel free to reach out to me if you're looking to design and set up your home network remotely. Now, the big question, how much did all of this cost? So when I decided to go with the Unify network for our home, I knew they would be an upfront cost, but I saw it as a mid long term investment. So in total, I spent around about $2,700, which was only about 1% of the total cost of the home. Now, considering the size of the house and all the benefits the system brings, which is both network as well as security, it's definitely worth it and not as expensive as it might seem. So whether you're looking to secure your smart home or set up a reliable network for working from home or just want a better Wi-Fi experience, the Unify system can handle it all. The best part, it's easy to upgrade as your needs grow so you don't have to spend a lot upfront. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on our smart home journey and other exciting DIY smart home projects. Until the next time, my friends, Cheers and happy automation.